hello everyone welcome back to my channel prince automation destination this side prince so in our previous lectures of bdd cucumber series we discussed about how to generate extant html report using spark reporter and then we discussed how to customize that report and later we discussed how to attach the screenshots in case you are not already aware on how to generate extant html report using spark reporter i'll request you to please check out my previous video which i'll be sharing in the i icon and today we are going to talk about pdf report which is useful for sharing with the clients because to share the uh, the html report generated using the spark reporter we need to share the entire folder and is not that useful but uh, so for those purposes or in order to share it over the email or in order to share it with the clients we usually generate the pdf report or we can say this is the best alternative in case we want to share it with the clients right so without further delay let me jump on to the discussion so what we need to do in order to generate the pdf report so as we are already aware that extend.properties is the entry point for extent reports so in the extent dot properties we need to provide these two parameter first parameter is to generate the report or to start the pdf reporter and second parameter is to provide the location and it is similar to the spark reporter only change that i have made is we have replaced spark with the pdf so without further delay let me jump on to the practical demonstration so what i will do i will simply copy paste these two lines which we used in case of spark reporter and i'll simply replace spark with pdf here also i'll replace spark with pdf and here i'll change html with pdf because we are going to generate pdf report right so i am going to execute the same test case which we were executing in the last case last lecture i mean so we are launching the google.com and in the search field we are searching for the prince automation destination So it will launch google.com and will enter prince automation destination right and now if i go to this target folder i will see two reports under extent reports because we have two reports that we are generating one is html report using spark reporter and second is pdf so html is already discussed in last lecture so i'm now going to open pdf report so this is the pdf report right and this is how it look like so it has summary so this is first first one is dashboard so this is the name of report and this is feature level summary this is scenario summary this is how many steps got executed as part of this execution this is the diagram right by which we can notice like uh, how many feature got executed and how out of them how many got passed so passed is green right that's why it is appearing green so this is the dial where, which is showing how much percentage of test cases got passed so it is showing 100 percentage right this is summary where it is showing feature level information and this is tag level segregation and this is feature level summary and this is scenario summary and this is detailed section where we can see the entire information so this is feature name this is scenario name and this is uh, the test steps right so we can see that step level information as well right so this is what is a pdf report and this is how it look like in the default default format so how to customize such report so in order to customize such report what we will do so we can customize this view as well so in order to customize this view what we need to do we need to simply keep this pdf hyphen config dot yaml file and need to maintain some uh, data in the yaml format provided by the extent team itself so what i'm going to do i'm simply going to create one file pdf hyphen config dot yaml so we don't need to point this file in the extent properties it will automatically be read by the extent reporter that is pdf reporter i mean so this is the content which is uh, provided by the extent team so i'll explain it step by step so this is global information right where we are maintaining the pass color so what would be the pass color what would be the fail color so in case you want to uh, check out these colors the, so there is a site which you can refer and 
I, I'll be sharing the link of same. This is color-hex.com. So I can simply copy it and open the Chrome and I'll show you this, right? So what I will do next, I'm going to this extent, uh, this PDF-config.yaml, right? I'm going to copy it. And next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it, put this color here, right? So I will see this color, right? So this is one reference uh, site that we can use to customize our colors or to customize our look and feel for the PDF report. So this is uh, what is the past color would be after using this particular PDF-config.yaml. Similarly, fail color would be changed and skip, skip color will be changed. This is display tag, display feature, whether we want to show these sections. So let us make this as also true display expanded, I mean. So this is how we can <coughs> config, uh, uh, configure the dashboard information. So this is how the YAML file is written. So this is the root node and under that we maintain one indentation. So this is the child <coughs> and this is a child of even <coughs> dial, right? So let us change the title of report. Let us make it as Prince Automation Destination, right? And uh, mm, this is how uh, it it has like a multiple information this is scenario level information feature level information right so this is how we can customize at a particular section which is which is we just discussed so we can customize any dashboard or any any tab i mean right using this particular pdf-config.yaml so what i'm going to do i'm going to rerun this particular test case which we just ran and let us see the difference So let me open it. So this was the previous view, right? And now it got changed because of pdf-config.yaml and the report name also got changed. This is the time, this is feature information, scenarios, steps, right? Likewise, other information also got updated, right? Based on the customization available in the pdf-config.yaml. I'll be sharing the link of same, right? Now, uh, does PDF report contain the screenshot? So the answer to this is yes, but uh, as you remember that in the last lecture, what we did is we attach the screenshot based on failure. So what we are going to do, I'm going to make this particular step as failure. So what I will do, assert dot assert. Let us use test ng1 dot assert true and make it as false. Right and uh, false and let me go to hook section. So if you remember what we were doing, if scenario is failed, then we were attaching the screenshot. So let me rerun the report, I rerun the test case once again, and let us see whether it is able to show the screenshot in the report or not. So let me show you the report. So I have opened the report and you see that we have the screenshot available as well. So we can attach the screenshot as well, right? So this is how we maintain the screenshot information as well. Now, uh, can we see the hooks information? Yes, we can see the hooks information. If in case they are failure in the hooks, we can definitely see that information as well. So let me do one thing. So this is the before hook that is getting executed. So what I'm going to do, assert dot assert true, and I'm going to intentionally fail it. And let me run this particular report. This particular test case, I mean, sorry. So let me open this PDF report now. And if I go to details section, let me go to details section. 
so I will see the hooks information as well so this particular details section contains the information related to steps and hooks and as of now uh, like whatever I have explored it shows the hooks information in case of failures only be it before scenario before test before step I mean right if they are failing it will uh, show this in this hooks report section or hooks section I mean in the detail section I mean right so this is what I wanted to cover as part of uh, current video so what we have covered let us quickly recap so first we discussed how to generate the PDF report by providing these two parameters this one is to initialize the reporter and this one is to provide the location we, where we want to generate the PDF report and then we discussed how we how we can customize the extent PDF report so this is how we can provide the information and how we can customize each section of the PDF report and this is what I wanted to cover as part of current video. Thank you for watching. I would request you to please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.